Good morning, teacher friends. So, good news. Dr. Coombe has agreed to create a prize for the teacher who completes the most everyday challenges, and I will be keeping up with that. So, what I have done is create a Google Classroom called Digital Learning Days, and I'm going to send everybody the code to the Google Classroom on Google Hangouts. So, if you haven't already gone online and messaged me through Google Hangouts to be added to the group, or if you haven't received the group code, which I sent out yesterday and joined via that, you need to do that first because that's the first everyday challenge. So, Today's everyday challenge will actually be an assignment on Google Classroom. I know you're like, great, one more thing to do. But this is actually gonna be beneficial, I think, for all of us. Um, when this whole outbreak started, I saw a lot of teachers on Teachergram um, posting schedules that they were creating for their students. And I thought, oh my Lord, I mean, do we have to schedule every single hour? But as one day has already taught me, um, I need to set boundaries between what I'm doing when I work from home and my personal life. So I think it's going to be very, very beneficial for all of us to create a schedule and try and stick with it. And um, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Um, I created my own distance learning schedule routine for myself and I'm going to post it on the Google Classroom so that you can see it. Now why do we need to do this? Well. If we don't do this, we're going to find ourselves answering emails at 11 p.m. at night from students, um, which I'm already getting because I have five different 10th grade honors classes and you know those kids are like really intense. <laughs> and we all have those students that are kind of intense and our students tend to stay up late at night. So I, I need to set boundaries for myself if I'm going to expect them to set boundaries. You know, it's just the way it is. And I think actually I think it's just a really good idea so I created my schedule and my schedule goes something like you know get up eight o'clock yes I, I'm gonna sleep a little later and do my thing between eight and nine a lot of coffee and for those of you that know me you'll be like yeah uh -huh, I understand that and um, do my devotion maybe do a little yoga since I can't go to my yoga class eat my breakfast then my work day is gonna start at nine I'm going to check my emails. Uh, I'm going to watch Dr. Coombe's announcements, which kudos to Dr. Coombe. Um, I'm going to check the teacher Google Hangouts to see if there's anybody out there chatting. Um, Betty and Krista and I were chatting this morning about a book um, that sixth grade is using. I, from 10 to 11, I'm going to work on my everyday challenges for the kids and for you guys. And then from 11 to 3 is going to be my main online work period. I'm going to be online and available to the kids to answer questions on Google Hangouts. I'm going to be grading online um, assignments as they are or everyday challenges. I'm going to be looking for curriculum to add and things to do. Um, by the way, thanks to Bill Long for the advice about the lighting. I'm still trying to work it out, but one of the things I've learned with this is that I'm going to have to come up with a space that's better for me to work in because right now in my tiny, tiny apartment uh, with my large dog and my two cats, the space that I have is not really working. And I, some of you are probably experiencing that as well, especially if you have children. Um, it may be more difficult for you to find the space to work. And you can hear my phone going off in the background. I'm sorry that the, all the kids contacted me on Google Hangout because it is after 11 when I'm making this video. So I'm already not on schedule, but at least I know I've got a schedule to start tomorrow. Um, then after 3 p.m., I'm, I'm going to break and do cleanup work and emails and different things that I need to do in order to start exercising at 4. And yes, I did build in exercise into my schedule. I think that's really important for all of us. Hopefully, I want to get outside and do it. Um, and shout out to the hospital's little walking path in the front. If you haven't gone over there and done that and you have access to it, go do it. They have little sections where you can stop and do like push-ups, pull-ups, and things. They've got all these bars that are out there that you you can you know use and they actually have the exercises outlined on a post that's right there so it's pretty cool um, and then five to six I'm gonna cook dinner and do chores and six to seven I'm gonna spend with my husband um, who's still recovering from surgery but doing much better and then from seven to nine I'm gonna work on my own stuff because um, I have I'm in school right now myself and then 10 to 11 I'm trying to carve out some time to actually read um, because I'm trying to get my kids to read. 
So that's my daily schedule. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post a sample template. If you want to use it, you can. If you want to do your own thing, that's perfectly okay. But this is Everyday Challenge 2. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I was going to say some, oh yeah, the lighting. I'm trying to do some different lighting thanks to Bill Long. Yay. Um, so I did, I've got a bright light on me right now, but it seems to be reflecting off my glasses. So um, I've got some work to do with that as well. But um, if you have any ideas about doing video, just let me know. Anything would be helpful. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Miss you guys. Wish we were at school, but you know, it is what it is. And um, I hope to be talking to you soon. Bye.